We welcome you to tonight's WIAA Boys Division IV Regional Game here at Beaver Dam High School. Tonight, the Sheboygan County Christian High School Eagles will take on the Randolph Rockets. The, the game tonight is, a, is the opening of the sectionals here for the WIAA tournament. Both teams have moved on, and at this point, both teams are uh, looking forward to this game. They, they matched up last year with uh, the Randolph Rockets coming out on top and going on to state. Randolph Rockets come in with a record of 22 and one and have been to state the last five, five years or five out of the last six years. Um, this is really the team to beat. I believe they were ranked one or two in division four throughout the state. So the Eagles have a huge test for themselves tonight. The Eagles come in with a record of 19 and four and uh, have been looking forward to this game. Uh, we'll be right back and introduce you to the starters. And now let's meet the starters for tonight's game. Uh, the Randolph Rockets are gonna be the home team in the white uniforms with Morgan County Christian High in the blue uniforms. And the starters for the Eagles tonight. Number 11, a senior, Nate Kopadek. A sophomore, number 14, Lee Veldkamp. Another senior for the Eagles, number 12, Brandon Simmons. The third starting senior for the Eagles is number 21, Joel Westerbeek. And the other sophomore starting for Sheboygan County Christian High is Joel Meerding, and he will be jumping center for the Eagles. And now let's meet the starters for the Randolph Rockets. Toma, number four, six three, junior guard, leads the Rockets. Number thirty four is a six two sophomore, Zach Reuter. Number twenty is Brian Johnson, six three senior. Number forty two is Jared Reuter, a six four junior. And playing center for the Randolph Rockets is number 44, Kyle Kelm, a 6'9 sophomore center. <laughs> One of the keys to tonight's game is going to be tempo. Christian High is looking to slow the ball down and take care of it and make sure that they have a uh, scoring opportunity on every possession. It'll be interesting to see how the Randolph Rockets come out. Jumping center is Kyle Kelm, a 6'9 sophomore for Randolph, and Joe Meerdink, 6'5 sophomore for Sheboygan County Christian High. And here we go. Randolph controls the tip very easily to number 42, Jared Ruder. Over to Tilma, over to Brian Johnson. Down inside, he loses it and turns it over. A steal by Joe Meerdink. Dumps it off the paddock. He looks over to the bench for instructions. Over to Joe Westerbeck. Down in the corner to Brandon Simmons. Eagles run their offense. Back out to Meerdink. Over to Westerbeck. Westerbeck's got a shot at the free throw line. He takes it. He's short. And the rebound comes down to number 20, Brian Johnson. Tilma running the offense for the Rockets. Goes down the lane and leaves his feet. Bowls over Lee Belkamp and is called for the charge. That's Tyler Tillman's first. The, Rock, or the Rockets' first team foul. Lee Belkamp inbound for the Eagles. Gives it over to Joe Westerbeck. Back to Belkamp who brings it up the middle. Calls out the play. Over to Westerbeck on the right hand side, down into Simmons again. Simmons looks for Meerdink inside. Back out to Klopatic. Over to Westerbeck. Down in the corner to Belkamp. Simmons coming high, looking at it. Back over to Klopatic. Around the top of the key, into the corner to Belkamp. 
and a foul is called. It looks like it's on the Rockets big man, Kyle Kelm, number 44. That's his first personal, and the Rockets' second team foul. Lee Belkamp inbound, looks inside, gets it outside to Joe Westerbeek. Westerbeek sets it up to Kopatic, guarded by Tilma. Over to Belkamp, down into the corner to Westerbeek, back out to Kopatic. Let's see if the Eagles are patient with their offense. They're looking like they're running their set. There's not a tremendous amount of man-to-man -man pressure by the Rockets right now. They're giving the perimeter look. It's down in the corner to Westerbeek, over to Klopatic. Klopatic looks to penetrate the middle, thinks twice about it, kicks it back out to Westerbeek. Right now, Rocket fans imploring their team to defense. Comes back out to Belkamp, down to Westerbeek. Christian I being very patient in this possession, trying to break down the Rocket defense. Back out to Belkamp. Over to Westerbeek, to Klopatic. They're looking inside to West, or to Mirding, but not forcing it. Belkamp top, over to Klopatic. Back to Belkamp, down into the corner to Westerbeek. Guarded by Brian Johnson of the Rockets. Now they're playing a little bit more pressure. And it kicks back out to Klopatic, who's closely guarded by Toma, but he drops back off. Simmons is guarded by number 42, Jared Reuter. Klopatic look looking inside. Eagles dump it inside to Mirden, kick it back out to Westerbeek, down in the corner to Feldkamp, over to Klopatic. Both teams seem very patient about what they want to do. Mirding steps back, lets it go short, gets his own rebound, and another foul is called on the Randolph Rockets. That foul is number 34, the six foot two sophomore, Zach Reuter. That's the third team foul. Bell can't the inbound again, gets it to Klopatic, guarded by Toma. Over into the corner to Westerbeek, looks inside for Mirding, nothing's there, and Westerbeek turned the ball over with a carry, goes over to the Rockets. Jared Reuter to inbound to Tyler Tilma, who calls out the offense. Dribbles up slowly, guarded by Westerbeek. Over to Zach Reuter, over to the big man Kyle Kelm, back over to Tilma. Over to number 20, Brian Johnson. Johnson shoots. Rebounded by Klopatic. Klopatic pushes it to Westerbeek, overthrows him, and the Eagles turn the ball over. Slow start. Score is 0-0. Three minutes already into this game. And not tremendous amount of scoring action at this point. Kilma brings it up, guarded by Westerbeek, over to Kelm. Kelm inside, down to Johnson, out to Gruder, who misses. Westerbeek rebounds and controls it and gives it over to Klopatic who dribbles up, back to Westerbeek, into the corner to Simmons, over to Klopatic. Klopatic takes a look, gives it to Mirdink. Mirdink thinks about a three but kicks it over to Westerbeek, down in the corner to Velkamp, over to Klopatic, back to Velkamp. Looking inside, gives it to Mirdink. Mirdink making a post move, kicks it back out to Velkamp and back over to Klopatic and things settle down again for the Eagles. Bell camp dribbling up between the circles over to Westerbeek, down in the corner to Klopatic, guarded by Tilma. Randolph Rockets are playing very good man-to-man -man defense. Westerbeek goes baseline, over to Simmons, into Mirdink, goes up, in off of the glass, and the Eagles score their first two points. Tyler Tilma brings the ball up, over to Johnson. Johnson looks things over. Underneath the basket, tips the rim, over to Veltkamp, and the Eagles slow the ball down. Ball's in the corner to Brandon Simmons. Over to Lee Veltkamp, and Kyle Kell makes a nice steal fronting Mirdink down to number 20, Brian Johnson, and there is a foul as Johnson went up for the shot. That foul is on number 11, Nate Klopatic, a block. Coach Brett Flipsey is imploring that it's something else. I don't think he thought it should have been a shooting foul. 
But Brian Johnson is at the line. Shooting two free throws. He makes the first, and Randolph comes in with a pair of subs. Number 24, Corey Pfeffer. And number 40, Ben Syvertson, a 6'3 sophomore. Johnson with the second free throw, hits it, and the score is tied 2-2 two to two with 3 minutes and 30 seconds left in this quarter. Kopatic locks the ball up, and it looks like Rockets are in a zone. It might be a pressure zone. We'll have to see. Trapping. Skip over to Westerbake. Back over to Klopatic. Trying to stretch the Rocket defense. Belkamp takes a three. Missed. Kyle Kelm down with the rebound. Kelm looks like he's got some good ball handling. Stolen by Klopatic. Klopatic looking it over. Dribbles himself out of trouble to Belkamp. Over to Westerbake. Westerbake thinks twice again. Over to Belkamp. And it looks like Rockets are back into their man offense. Westerbake surveys it over to Klopatic and then Simmons on the right-hand side of the floor. Westerbake looks for Simmons, goes over to Klopatic. Belkamp looking inside for Mirdink, working for position. It's down into Westerbake in the corner, back out to Klopatic. Westerbeek looks inside the Mirding, but that kicks it back out of Klopatic. And now, finally, the Eagles are running some offense. Belkamp cuts through, looks for Mirding, skips over to Klopatic, and they try ball reversal, but to no avail. This Randolph Rocket defense is, is a stalwart defense. They're playing a nice man-to-man. -man. They got the big man in the middle to make sure nothing goes down Main Street for them. Westerbeek down into Simmons. Eagles taking their time, showing some patience. Oh, and Kopatic loses it off his foot to Brian Johnson. Johnson down in for the layup and scores. The Randolph Rockets go up four to two. Looks like right now the key to this game is going to be turnovers. Who's going to have the least amount? Eagles have a couple here early, I think three altogether. On a make, it looks like the Rockets are going to a pressing half-court trap zone. Skip passes, tip to Westerbeek, down in the middle, down to Simmons. Simmons kicks it to Kopatic for a three. He hits far bracket, and Brian Johnson rebounds, pushes the ball up the floor, looks to pass, and double dribbles and turns it over. Checking back into the Randolph Rocket lineup is number 42, Jared Ruder. Checking in for the Eagles is a junior, 6'5 junior, number 23, Zach Jensma, and also checking in for the Rockets is number 30, Brian Kamstra, a 6'2 freshman for the Randolph Rockets. Lee Veldkamp to inbound in front of the scorer's table at midcourt. Looks in to Joe Mirnick, who steps in to take off some of the heat. Klopata closely guarded by Tilma. Rockets are back into a man-to-man. -man. They go into the corner down to Belkamp, who looks inside for Mirdink, and it's tipped out of bounds off the Rockets. Belkamp calling for the play. Inboning it underneath the Eagle basket. Out to Westerbeek, who's closely guarded by number 30, Brian Kamstra. Paddock with the ball, into Belkamp, down to Westerbeek, who squares up, takes a shot. Fire bracket, rebounded by number 30, Brian Kamstra. Over to Tilma, guarded by Westerbeek. Westerbeek reaches in, tips the ball out, no foul. Ball reach stays to the Rockets. Brandon Simmons checking in right now for Zach Jensma. But Flipsy changing the defense, going to the 2-3 zone with 36 seconds left in the quarter. And the score, four to two, the Rockets. Down in the corner to Tilma. Tilma goes around, loses the ball, and puts it up off the glass and scores. Making the score six to two with 18 seconds left here. The paddock dribbles over to, passes over to Westerbeek. 
The paddock has it with seven seconds. Mirrodink looking. Closely guarded by Kelm. <laughs> Westerbeek lost it, tries a bank shot, and misses wide. And at the end of one quarter, the score is the Randolph Rockets six and the Sporting County Christian High School Eagles two. Coming out in the second quarter here, the starters for the Randolph Rockets are number four, Tyler Tillema, number 20, Brian Johnson, number 34, Zach Ruder, number 42, Jared Ruder, and number 44, Kyle Kelm. They come out with their starters. The Eagles come out with their starters. Lee Belkamp to inbound to Nathan Klopatic or to Joe Mirrodink. Klopatic gets the ball. Joe Westerbeek is also starting along with Brandon Simmons. Paddock gets it into Simmons over on the wing. Westerbeek shoots a three off rim. Rebound by number 42, Jared Ruder. Over to Tilma. Tilma pushes the ball up, looking for Johnson. Johnson looking inside the Kelm. Skips over to Ruder. And then over to Jared Ruder. Kelm has the ball stolen by Brandon Simmons and decides to dribble it up himself and get it over half court. Go over to Lee Velcamp. Velcamp against 34 spin move. And he's called for the travel. Turnover Eagles. Brings it over to the Randolph Rockets. Jared Ruder to inbound to Tilma. Tilma to bring it up. Call out the play. Puts it over to Jared Ruder on the wing. Ruder looking for ball reversal to Johnson. Gets it over to Johnson, back to Tilma. Cut through by, and stolen again by Simmons. Simmons playing great anticipation on the man-to-man -man defense. He makes a great steal. Falls in the corner to Simmons. Simmons is driving his left hand and puts it up, creates space, tips back over to Kyle Kelm by Tilma, and Tilma brings the ball back up over the Randolph, Randolph Rockets. Tilma dribbling between the circles, look inside. Over to Kyle Kelm on the wing. Down inside to number 42, Ruder, and 42 backs down Nathan Kopatic, recognizing the size difference. And Nathan Kopatic for the Eagles just picked up his second personal, second team. And that causes Coach Brett Flipsy to make a quick change. It looks like the Belgium foreign exchange student for Christian High, Carl Dubois, is coming into the game to replace Nate Kopatic. Jared Ruder. The Rocket free throw shooter missed his first. He's got his second one to shoot right now. He lines it up, takes a shot. He's off, and Joe Westerbeck comes down with the rebound, passes over to Lee Velcamp. Velcamp looks like he's going to be running the offense a little bit for the Eagles right now. Falls back over to Westerbeck, over to Simmons, down in the corner to Velcamp. Here comes Carl Dubois around the circle. Simmons down in the corner, looking inside for Mirdink, over to Veldkamp. Down in the corner to Dubois. Dubois, shot fake. Simmons down the middle, kicks out to Veldkamp, over to Dubois. Dubois behind dribble behind his back. Looks to penetrate that rocket defense. Westerbeek taking his time. Skip over to Simmons, just past Johnson. Simmons inside, blocked by Tilma. Blocked by Kelm. Yes, this Rocket team has some great defense. Johnson's head and shoulder fix. Let's go. Three Eagles fly by him and puts it in for the score, making it 8 to 2 with 5 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. Lee Belkamp with a three off the bracket. Johnson with the rebound. Kick out to Kelm. Stopped by Belkamp. Tilma down the lane. Kicks it out to Kelm for a three. And he drains it. Kyle Kelm has a nice, nice touch. And that brings Coach Brett Flipsy off the bench. Brings this Rocket crowd to their feet in appreciation 
to what their team has done in scoring very quickly in this last minute or so. And the score is 11 to 2. Randolph Rockets defense is, is a very good defense, but to the Eagle credit, they are taking their time trying to break that defense down and not hurry anything. The Rockets made a great defensive stand there, blocking Simmons twice underneath the basket and then kicking it down for an easy basket. This timeout came with five minutes and 21 seconds left in the second quarter. And the Randolph Rockets have gone up by nine. The score is 11 to two. There's some pressure in the backcourt by Tilma against Kyle Dubois. Dubois dribbling, passes over to Westerbeek. Johnson contests and then backs off. Dubois over to Simmons on the wing, guarded by Kelm. Simmons draws Kelm out, back over to Dubois. Eagles look a little frustrated and wondering what offense to run. Mirdink looks at it, passes over Dubois, nice spin room in the lane, and Dubois hits a nice 10 foot shot for two points, making the score 11 to four. Tilma brings the ball up, looks over to Kelm, guarded by Simmons, over to 34, Zach Luter, over to Kelm. Over to Jared Ruder. Dump inside to Kelm on the block. Nice little left-hand shot, rims out. And we have a traveling foul on number 42 who came in and made a nice rebound. But lost his footing and was called for traveling and a turnover. Dubois again guarded by Tilma over to Westerbeek. Over on the left-hand side to Simmons. Simmons looking for ball reverse, guarded by Kelm. Belkamp calling out the play. Gets it over to Westerbeek. But Dubois cuts through. Mirning steps out. Simmons goes back door. Belkamp on the wing. They're trying to deny the ball reversal. Over to Mirning. Westerbeek at the top. Eagles continue to try to probe this, this very good man-to-man -man defense by the Randolph Rockets. Belkamp in the corner. Westerbeek cuts through. Bearden can't get the ball reversal, has to make a double fake and pop out. Westerbeek trying the reversal, 42, jumps out and denies that. And they try to force it in, number 42, Jared Ruder overplays, gets, uh, gets the interception, kicks it over to Tilma. Tilma trying to push the ball up the floor and the, Carl is on, the foul is on number 10 for the Eagles, Carl Dubois. Into the rocket lineup comes number 40, Ben Syvertson, and number 24, Corey Pfeffer. And in for the Eagles comes 6'5 junior Zach Jensma for Brandon Simmons. Johnson inbounds against Dubois, over to Tilma. Johnson gets the ball, guarded by Dubois. Skip over to Kelm. Good help by Mearding. Tilma for the three. And he hits it. It's a great penetration dish by Kyle Kelm back to Toma, who buried it for the three, making the score 14 to 4. Rockets up by 10. Tensmo looking inside, kicks it over to Velcamp, over to Westerbeek, down in the corner to Dubois. Dubois goes baseline, thinks twice, dribbles out. There's Jensma. Jensma had a great game against Kohler, hitting three of his four three pointers and a two pointer for 11 points. But he's closely guarded, and I think this Rocket team knows the Eagles' strengths. Westerbeek to the free throw line over to Jensma, over to Velkamp, looking inside, over to Westerbeek. Eagles taking their time. Step out by Mirdink, off the rim. Belkamp tries to tip it up, losing his balance, can't get it. Tilma grabs the rebound, pushes the ball up the floor. Down the middle, hits a nice bounce pass. And Kyle Kelm, no dribble, foot down, throws it down with some authority. Beautiful pass by Tilma. 
hitting the big guy. Bell camp for three, short off the rim. Mirrodin goes down. Number 40, Ben Syverson goes down and the ball goes out of bounds. Over to the Rockets. Tyler Tillman bringing the ball up for the Rockets. Kicks it over to Johnson. Johnson dribbles down the corner. Baseline stops at the three, looks to shoot. Skip pass, just zips it past. Down into the opposite block to number 24, Corey Pfeffer. Catches it, puts it up, sinks the basket, and is fouled by number 14, Lee Belkamp. His first personal fourth team foul. Man, this Rocket team just knows where to find their guys and just zips the ball over. Pfeffer shoots the free throw and hits it, making the score 18 to 4 with 19 to 4 with approximately two minutes left here in this quarter. Checking the Eagle lineup is number 22, Luke Weir. And sitting down for the Eagles is number 21, Joe Westerbeck. Some moisture on the floor that the referees are taking care of. Right now, I'd have to say the Randolph Rockets are surgical. They know exactly where their guys are gonna be on the floor. They know how to get the ball there. They're patient. They don't turn the ball over a lot. They are a very good basketball team. Eagles aren't out of it yet, though. Let's see what they have in this last two minutes to see if they can cut this lead from 15. If they can get it down to 10, this would be a good thing for the Eagles. Luke Weir dribbles along the baseline. Thinks twice, kicks it back out to Jensma. Jensma closely guarded by Kelm. Over to Weir. Dubois running the offense for the Eagles. Kicks it back in again to a Weir. Over to Belkamp for three. Can he hit the three this time? No, he's short. Meerdink with a rebound. Tipped around, it's on the floor. Randolph's get it. Tilma down to Johnson. And Johnson in for an easy layup. Making the score 20. The Eagles come up with that ball. You get another chance at a basket. Weir for a little bunny shot, long on the bracket. Johnson comes down with the rebound, kicks it to Tilma. Down in for an easy layup. And all of a sudden the score is 23 to four. And there are 55 seconds left. It's not what the Eagles wanted at all. Not at all in that exchange. Lee again for a three, blocked the far bracket. Belkin, or Mirden fighting for a rebound. It comes into the hands of Ben Syvertson and over to Tilma as he dribbles up as the clock winds down on the first half. At 30, well, 30 seconds left. Kelm up at the top, guarded by Mirden. Luke Weir guarding Tilma, dribbles between half court and the free throw line. Kelm on the wing, looking it over. Johnson. Over to Syvertson, down inside to Kelm, and an easy basket on the left-hand block. Dubois going down with nine seconds, over to Jensma, looks at him. Dubois with five seconds, three. Belkamp takes a shot, he's short, and as the horn sounds, the ball helplessly falls out of bounds. A little bit indicative of the Eagles in that first half falling a little bit short on their game plan, I think. Uh, only scoring four points, and I would guess Coach Brett Lipsy would have liked to have seen a little better defense. Let's see if the Eagles can come back in the second half and regroup and get themselves back into this game. Again, the score at halftime, the Randolph Rockets are leading the Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles 25 to four. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Welcome back to the start of the second half of this Division IV WIAA boys basketball game. Uh, the first half was a disappointing one to say the least for the Eagles. I believe the Randolph Rockets carried out their game plan to a T. Uh, let's recap the scoring in the first half. For the Rockets, Tyler Tilma had seven points. Brian Johnson had eight. 
Coming off the bench for the Rockets, Corey Pfeffer had three. And the Rocket big man, the 6'9 sophomore center, had seven. For the Sheboygan County Christian Eye Eagles, four points is not hard to, to divide up. Joe Meerdink had one basket in the first quarter, and Kyle Dubois had the second basket for the Eagles. As they come out from to start the second half, the Randolph Rockets again lead by a score of 25 to four. Both teams are going with their starting fives from the first half. Randolph Rockets start Tyler Tillema, Brian Johnson, Zach Reuter, Jared Reuter, and Kyle Kelm. Tillema, not quite over half and pressured a little bit by Westervik. The Randolph Rockets turn the ball over in an over and back call and Lee Belkamp to inbound for the Eagles. Klopatic dribbles over, guarded by Toma. Gets it into Lee Belkamp. Belkamp looking, step out again by Mirning. Simmons goes back door but has nowhere to go. Brian Johnson just ran over Lee Belkamp and no foul was called. Westerbeek to the top of the key, follows his own shot, gets his rebound. Looks like the Eagles are looking to put the ball up a little quicker this beginning of this quarter, and I think that's going to be a key for them. They need to get some shots off. The patient game didn't work for them. There it is, back door to Simmons. Meerdink finds him with a beautiful assist, and Brandon Simmons lays it in, making the score 25 to 6. Tilma brings it over very easily, right down the lane, up high off the glass, 34 over the back for the Rockets, climbs the back of Lee Veltkamp. Zach Reuter picks up the first foul of the second half. That's his second personal. And the Eagles to inbound underneath on their back court. And the ball's brought up by Klopatic over to Westerbeek in the corner to Simmons. Simmons shot takes, looks it over again. There's Meerdink to step out. He shoots the three, and he's long in the bracket. Simmons fights for it and is harassed by Brian Johnson, who then picks up the foul. That's Brian Johnson's first foul of the Randolph Rockets' second. Bell camped inbound on the near side into Westerbeek, guarded by Johnson. Kicks it over to Kopatic. Paddock surveys, looking into Meerdink, he's trying to gain post position. Simmons goes left side, kicks it to Lee Belkamp for a three. Belkamp off, and Johnson with a rebound. Harassed by Westerbeek, kicks it over to number 34, Zach Ruder. Ruder dribbles over to Tilma, and Tilma sets the offense for the Randolph Rockets. Over to Ruder on the wing, tries to pass. Westerbeek makes the steal, pushes the ball up the floor. Stopped by Tilma. Not almost an over in the back. Rocket crowd wants an over in the back, but I don't think all three points were over. Is two feet in the ball. Simmons baseline kicks to Kopatic. Kick down, card by Kelm. Over to Westerbeek for the three. Squares it up and misses Tomo with a rebound. Eagles are getting the looks they need to get, but the ball's not going down and the Randolph coach, Bob Happily, calls timeout. Doesn't look very happy with his team. I think he's a little upset that the Eagles are getting some clear looks. I see his lips moving and talking that they're getting wide open looks. The Eagles definitely have come out in the second half more up tempo, ready to attack. And let's face it, they have nothing to lose. The score with 5.59 left in the third quarter is the Randolph Rockets 25 and Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles 6. Jared Reuter to inbound for the Rockets. Gets it into Tilma down the lane. Kicks over to Brian Johnson who squares up for a three. Takes a shot and buries it. You cannot fall asleep against this Randolph team. That was just executed perfectly. They got the shot they wanted and a senior like Brian Johnson is just going to stick it right in the basket when he gets that opportunity. Westerbeek dribbles between the circles, kicks it over to Simmons, over to Klopatic who calls out the play. Down in the corner to Simmons. 
Simmons kicks out to Westerbeek over to Klopatic with ball reversal. Into the side. Simmons tries to put it up in the road and gets it and in pass Kyle Kelm. Simmons is deceptively quick. He really is, and he knows how to use the glass very well. Into the game for the Rockets is 24. Number, four, number 24, Corey Pepper. And as I try to introduce the new player, the Rockets just dump it down on the block and score very easily. Eagles get it in over to Simmons, over to Klopatic. Screen by Mirdink, over to Belkamp, over to Westerbeek. Simmons gets it down inside to Westerbeek, or to Mirdink, who puts up a shot fake. Gets it blocked, falls on the floor, there's a scramble, and there's bodies everywhere on the lower block, and finally the referees stop the play, calling a jump ball. And it looks like it belongs to the Eagles. Checking into the rocket lineup is number 40, Ben Syvertson. And Joe Westerbeek to inbound for the Eagles. Eagles having a little bit of trouble. And there is a foul called on the Randolph Rockets. Foul is on number 24, Ben Syvertson, who just checked into the game. That's his first and uh, Rockets' third team foul. Halfley's not happy with the call. And again, the Rockets just contest everything, making it difficult to inbound the ball. And Westerbeek is going to have to inbound on the sideline now. Westerbeek looks it over, having a little bit of trouble. High loft pass over to Simmons at the top and into Kopatic on the wing. They kick it over to Westerbeek into Velkamp. Velkamp tries to go around and is stopped. Back in the corner to Simmons, over to Kopatic at the top of the key. And guarded closely by Tilma. Westerbeek, set, or Mearning sets it up, goes down the lane, loses the ball, kicks it out to Westerbeek. Westerbeek penetrates, kicks it over to Kopatic. Down on the block to Leak, Velkamp. He gets in there, scores the basket, but is called for traveling. Ball's turned over to the Randolph Rockets. Ball comes in to Kyle Kelm, the Rocket big man. He brings the ball up the floor against Simmons. Handles the ball just wonderfully, but tried to change directions too quickly, didn't set his feet, and was called for the travel. It's the Eagle ball. Near center court, Belkamp over to Kopatic. Nathan Kopatic dribbles up the floor, drops into, into Mirding. Skip over to Kopatic, doesn't shoot, spin move, and there is a hold, a foul, on number four, Tyler Tilma. It's his second foul and the team fourth. Checking into the game now is Zach Reuter, and Tyler Tilma is stepping out of the game for the Rockets. Lee Velkamp to inbound underneath the Eagle basket. Gets it into Klopatic who steps behind the three. Tries to dribble down the lane, can't get there. Westerbeek with a shot, I don't think it's a three though. It is a two, referees call that one correctly. He was just inside the three point line, but hits the shot making the score 30 to 10 with three minutes and 42 seconds left in the third quarter. A little pressure by the Eagles. Number 34, Zach Reuter brings it up, gets it over to number 24, Corey Pfeffer. Over to the big man, Kyle Kelm. Over to Reuter. Reuter with nowhere to go. Belkamp over playing the passing lane, kicks it over to Kelm. Kelm looks it over. Johnson is deceptively just standing on the sideline. Gets the ball, tries to dump it in to number 40, Syvertson, who just didn't get a handle on the ball. He had inside position and lost it out of bounds. Eagle ball. Nathan Kopatic to bring the ball up the floor. Calls out the play. Steps out by Simmons. Kick over to Velkamp. Guarded closely by number 34, 
Reuter. And the Eagles have got to get a shot off by Westerbeek. And he hits the three. Joel Westerbeek with a nice three. And Jack Reuter brings the ball up over to 24. Pfeffer over to Reuter again, over to Kelm. Johnson down to number 40, who puts it high off the glass. And Simmons just climbs the back of number 34, Zach Reuter, and follows him as he goes up for the shot. That's Brandon Simmons picked up the foul for the Eagles, putting number 34, Zach Reuter, at the line. He lines it up. The lefty lets it go and missed the free throw. Howard Dubois checks in for Nate Klopatic for the Eagles, and Tyler Tillema comes back in. There's one weakness I noticed about the Rockets is they do lack a point guard when Tillema is out. They definitely seem to run a little smoother with him in, and Coach Halfley brings Tillema back in to run the Rocket offense. Carl Dubois calling out the play for the Eagles, gets it in over on the right-hand side to Simmons. Simmons looks it over, nowhere to go. He dribbles with his left hand to the left-hand side. Dubois, shot fake, brings it up and in, and scores off the glass against Tilma. And the Eagles are down by 16, 31 to 15. Over in the corner to Johnson, into the big guy, Kelton. Hits over to number 40. Syvertson over to Reuter, over to Syvertson into Kelm, who lowers the shoulder, kicks it back out to Johnson for the three. Rattles in and out, and Belkamp down with the rebound, tries to push the ball up the floor. Gets it in the corner to, to Meerding, who is just hammered with a reach in on Brian Johnson. Johnson picks up his second, the team fifth. But let's face it, Randolph doesn't get too rattled about fouls. These guys are confident players, very good players. They've been here before. They know what's going on. Meerdink with a step out, little short jumper, and long off the bracket, and the Randolph Rockets come down with a rebound. Put it in the hands of Tomo, who runs the offense over to Kelm, over to Reuter. Reuter looks inside, over to Syvertson. Syvertson gets it to Johnson, dribbles down the lane, throws it up with his right hand, and is fouled on the way up by number 10, Carl Dubois. That's Carl's second foul, the team's second. Carl Dubois again is a transfer student to Kirsten High from Belgium and has been a nice addition for the Eagles this past season. He's not a bad basketball player and has, like I said, made a good contribution. Checking, up, checking into the Eagle lineup is the sophomore Andrew Stecker who spent the, the majority, all of the regular season playing with the JVs and has now been given an opportunity here at the varsity. He is the future of Christian High with the other two sophomores, Lee Belkamp and Joe Meerding. The Rockets hit their free throws, making the score 33 to 15 with a minute 15 left here in the third quarter. Dubois brings the ball over, runs the offense over to Stecker, into the corner to Simmons. Simmons looks for Belkamp, dumps it down, tries to dump it down into Joe Mirnik, who had inside position, but the ball was a little long and tipped out by the Rockets. Eagle ball with Belkamp to inbound. Dumps it in, little bunny pass to Meerdink. Meerdink looks at the shot, does it in there. Over to Stecker and to Simmons. Simmons down the lane, the left hand side, puts it up, gets his own rebound, tries to dribble out of there and gets it out of there. Heavy pressure by the Rockets. And a an steal attempt by number 34, Zach Reuter, who just pretty much leveled Lee Velkamp, who holds his hand. 
That's Reuter's third foul, the team six. If there's any kind of benefit out of this quarter anyways, it looks like the Rockets will be in the bonus, or I mean the Eagles will be in the bonus. That's the sixth team foul for the Rockets. Zach Reuter checks out. Number 24, Corey Pfeffer, checks in for the Rockets. Zach Gensma checks in with 48 seconds left in the quarter for Brandon Simmons, who takes a quick rest. Lee Belkamp to side, the inbound on the side, dumps it in the backcourt to Dubois over to Stecker, back over to Belkamp. Belkamp dumps it into Joe Meerdink. Skip over to Lee on the side, down into the corner to, or into the baseline to Stecker, back to Lee Belkamp, takes a shot, misses. Tilma with a rebound, pushes the ball up the floor. Over to Syvertson, back over to Tilma. And Tilma waiting for the last few seconds of this quarter, guarded by Stecker. Brian Johnson gets the ball, skips it over to nobody. He was looking to see Jared Reuter there, and Reuter went back door, leaving nobody there, and the Rockets turned the ball over. With 6.2 seconds left in this quarter, the Rockets put some pressure on the Eagles. And the Eagles turn the ball over. Number 40 makes a seal. Syverson over to Johnson. Johnson dribbling. Sets up a little floater and is short. And the third quarter comes to an end. With a score, the Randolph Rockets 33. And the Sheboygan County Christian High Eagles 15. Eagles managed to score 11 more points this quarter, which is a great improvement. And they've seen to slow down a little bit. The Randolph Rockets, who scored eight. Eagles outscored the Rockets 11 to eight in that quarter. And so we'll see what happens in this fourth and final quarter of this game. Obviously, there's no tomorrow for either team. So my guess is we're gonna see a fast and furious fourth quarter, especially by the Eagles. As we start this fourth quarter, the Rockets come out with Tillema, Pfeffer, Jared Reuter, Brian Johnson, and Kyle Kelm. The Eagles come out with Carl Dubois, Andrew Stecker, Joe Westerbake, Joe Meerdink, and Zach Jensma. Tilma gets the ball in their backcourt, guarded by Westerbeek, who brings the ball over the midcourt line, over to Reuter, Jared Reuter, over to Kelm, over to Pfeffer, looks down inside, gets it to Johnson. Pfeffer goes back door, Johnson finds him on the lower block, he puts it up, stuffed by Meerdink, stuffed again by Meerdink, scramble for the ball, and Johnson comes up with it, down underneath the Reuter very easily put back basket, and that's not the kind of start that the Eagles needed. They needed to come out with that ball and stop the Rockets from scoring. Scores 35 to 15. It's been moved down the lane by Dubois, kick back out to Jensma for the three, and swishes it, making the score 35 to 18 with seven minutes left in the game. Tilma down the lane, kick out to Johnson, waits for it in the corner. Squares it up, misses. Stecker races for it, but Reuter comes down with it. Down in the baseline to Johnson making a beautiful putt. Tilma just waiting for him to clear the defense and puts in for an easy layup. Over on the wing to Jensma, over to Stecker. Stecker looks it over, takes a shot, and hits it. Freshman not afraid to shoot. I think he has the confidence of Coach Brett Flipsy. Take that shot. And the Eagles are down by 17, 37 to 20. Tilma dribbles over half, gets it over to Reuter, and on the side to Johnson, looking for a backdoor cut to Tilma, and an easy 
It looked like an easy shot, but it didn't go in, and Westerbay comes away with it, pushes the ball up the floor, and is guarded by Pfeffer. Over to Meerdink. Back up to Dubois in the corner to Westerbeek, over back to Dubois. Dubois dribbles, looking for Jensma, who puts up another nice shot and scores a three. That's two in a row from the same spot. The Eagles are now down by 14. Tilma breaks down the court and is hammered hard by Westerbeek. Zach Ruder comes back into the lineup. And the Rockets didn't go in by half court, seeing as that was only the Eagles' third team foul in this half. And that was Westerbeek's first. Tilma dribbling between the circle, and Westerbeek quickly picks up his second foul. As Tilma imploring his teammates to make a certain move so that they can get open. Westerbeek checks out, Simmons checks in. And Johnson the inbound to Kelm. Kelm just busting down baseline and Simmons no sooner has checked in than has picked up his foul as he didn't get his feet over quick enough to stop Kelm from going baseline. That's his second personal foul, the team's fifth, and the Rockets inbound underneath the basket. Johnson outside, looks for a three, drives down, dumps to Kelm, and Kelm lays it up easily for two points, an assist from Brian Johnson. Johnson is a nice, strong player. Does a lot of good things for the Rockets. He's able to dribble and handle the ball, shoot the ball. Oh, nice fist by Stecker right in the mirroring who made a beautiful little funny layup. And again, that's the future of Christian High right there. The two sophomores connecting. They played together throughout grade school. Did a nice, beautiful job. Fed Mirrodink for the little bunny. At the timeout here, the Eagles are down by 14 again. It's 39 to 25. Let's take a break as we take a look at the Eagle fans and their improv on drum sets. And as we come out of the timeout again, uh, Randolph Rockets are leading 39 to 25. Eagles putting on a full court press. Ball quickly gets over to Tilma, and he runs the offense. He's guarded by the sophomore Stecker. Dumps it into Johnson. Kelm gets the ball high, looking underneath. Kelm's a great passer for a big guy, too. He's got all the tools you look for in a big guy. And a little pressure by Kelm. On Tilma, almost turned over the ball, but hang on, hung on to it into the corner to Kelm. Down to Tilma, looks for the reverse, spins around, and picks up a two-shot foul on Zach Densma. <laughs> who gets him on the arm. That's Jensma's first, and now the Eagles have quickly made the, tied up the team fouls at six. Tilma, lefty, puts in the free throw, giving the Rockets a 40 to 25 lead, and has one more free throw to shoot. He makes the second. Tense my inbounds to Stecker, who gets it over to Dubois, over to Westerbeek in the corner, over to Simmons. Back out to Dubois. Dubois looks over carefully, gets it to Westerbeek, jump by Tilma, swing over to Dubois, who shoots the three. Off the front of the rim, Westerbeek gets the rebound, looks to attack, cut off on the baseline, gets it to Jensma, over to Simmons, down underneath to Westerbeek. And Stecker comes down the lane, but has to alter his shot by it with nice defense by the Rockets who rotate over. They don't make anything easy for you, nothing at all. But you don't get to state by playing lousy defense, that's for sure. Kelm dumps it in down to Toma, pushed under the basket, puts it up and lays it off the glass. Pretty shot. He is so long and lanky, you just can't block him or push him under the basket. And he scored pretty easily there. 
We're at the halfway point of this quarter. Four minutes, a little less than four minutes left in this game. Eagles got to make a run here. If they are to get it, they can't trade baskets like they currently are. Jensma didn't look ready for that pass. Westerbeek's a shot is altered. Dubois down the lane and lays it up nice off the glass. And Brett Clipsy, the Eagle coach, quickly calls a 30 second timeout. Eagles are showing flashes of some offensive ability, but they need to put it together all the time and they need to make a defensive stop down on the other end to get the ball back. The score right now is 43 to 27. The timeout comes with 336 left in this game. And the Rockets definitely in control. They're not rattled or anything. Eagles are, Eagles are playing scrappy. Trying to mount a, a little run here in bits and pieces. Eagles are playing a full court defense. Not guarding the inbound. They get in into Kelm easily. Kelm looking for Tilma, closely guarded by Veltkamp. Pushes off and clears away. And Lee trying to guard him closely, but they get it over easily and run their offense to Johnson. Johnson runs it over to Kelm. The Eagles and the Rockets run the same man-to-man -man offense, basically. Tilma down the baseline. Adjusts the shot, misses. Rebound by number 40. Syverson, but can't gain control, and the Eagles come out with it. Jensma doesn't square up and look at the basket like he probably should have, and kicks it back out and resets Dubois at the top of the circle, guarded by Tilma, by Velkamp, who quickly shoots the three, rattles around. Syverson comes down with the rebound and is immediately fouled by the Eagles. That foul was on number 12, Brandon Simmons, his third foul. The team seventh putting the Rockets on the line. In particular, Ben Syvertson shooting a one and one. The Rockets don't go deep on their bench, but they've got good role players. Like a guy like Syvertson, and he hits his free throw. Well, Paddock checks in for Zach Jensma, and it's a good move by Coach Flipsy. If you're going to press, you're going to need some speed. I know they want Jensma's shooting ability, but he's been hobbled with ankle, ankle problems and had surgery, four surgeries on it this past year. Syvertson hits his second free throw, making the score 45 to 27 with two minutes and 50 seconds left. Lee Velkamp down the lane, kicks it back out for Kopatic over to Dubois. Dubois tries to go down the lane, throws it up with his right hand, comes up short. They just whip it down to Johnson. Johnson took his eye off the ball a second. I think that's a little bit uncharacteristic of the senior and loses it out of bounds. Going over to the Eagles. Nathan Kopatic brings the ball up the floor. Runs the offense, looking to get it to the wing over to Simmons. Down into the corner to Westerbeek, who shoots up an uncontested three and hits it again. Making the score 45 to 30, 15 points here. Kelm heavily guarded. Tilma was grabbed by Lee Belkamp, and no foul was called. Kicks it over to Kelm, who sets up the offense, patiently looking. Kelm is just a poise sophomore. He plays like, like a senior, there's no doubt, and that definitely helps. Coach Bob Happily doesn't look like he's happy about what's running out there, so he calls a timeout. He calls a 30-second timeout. Just think he wants to redirect his team. Score at the timeout is 45 to 30. With a minute 57, two, less than two minutes left. Trying to get it to Tilma, overplayed by Westbrook, gets it into Kelm. Kelm just baseline, easily goes down the lane and is going to be shooting two fouls. We'll have to see who it's on. Oh, it's on Simmons again. Simmons leaving it on the court, though. 
He's one of three senior starters out there or that are out there right now. Nathan Kopatic, Brandon Simmons, and Joel Westerbeek. Kelm shoots it and hits it long. The other seniors for the Eagles are Carl Dubois and Marcus Lemihue. Kelm lines it up, shoots the free throw, hits that one, making the score 46-30 with a minute 54 left in the game. Dubois on the wing, looks the situation over, dribbles to the top of the key, over to Westerbeek. Westerbeek trying to skip pass over to the Belkamp. The Rockets just switch everything so well, make it difficult for you to shoot. Kopatik thought twice and shot the ball and came up short but comes up with a steal and doesn't even wait, quickly pushes it up. Eagles realizing they have to score. He traveled but scores it. No basket, no basket. Number 40, Ben Syvertson made a great, great play of just sliding over and taking the charge and no basket. That was Nathan Kopatik's third, but being a player control foul, that doesn't put the Rockets at the line. They inbound under their basket. They get it into Tillman. Eagles trying to foul to stop the clock. They need the clock stop. And Nathan Kopatik is called for the block as both players go down hard. And Lee Belkamp in a nice show of sportsmanship went over and picked up Tilma. Tilma will be going to the line. He will be shooting a one and one bonus. Oh, yeah. Tilma makes the first. Substitutions for the Eagles. Zach Jensma comes in for Brandon Simmons and Joe Meerding comes in for Carl Dubois. Tillman misses the second, Belkamp rebounds with a minute and 15 seconds, pushes the ball up the floor, hits Meerdink in the corner who squares up for a three, lets it go, off the rim. Johnson comes down with it but it's stolen by Klepata, kick out to Belkamp for a three and he scores it and flips it, quickly calls a timeout. Stopping the clock. Not exactly sure how many more timeouts the Eagles have. It's gotta be one or maybe two at the most. And that way the Eagles can set up their press defense and try to get the ball back. Right now the score is 47 to 33. The Eagles have done a much better job coming out in the second half and attacking the basket and getting themselves some nice looks at the basket and scoring on those opportunities. When you think about it, they only scored four points in the first half and now have scored 29 in the second half. Quite a turnaround, but they just can't seem to get over that hump because for whatever, whatever answers the Eagles have, the Rockets come right back and continue to score and maintain the lead. The Eagles haven't gotten the score down past 10 for a very long time. As we come out of that timeout, the Rockets will be inbounding under their basket, facing full court pressure by the Eagles. I think the Eagles will be looking to, to stop the clock and foul very quickly. Because the clock, oh, and the Rockets turn the ball over. Klopatic steps out to the three, misses. Belkamp saves it over to Westerbeek. Lining up the three back in the corner, what should have been a better pass. Belkamp lets the three go and scores in the corner. And Flipsy gets another timeout. Oh my. Quick little spurt here by the Eagles. Cutting the score to 11, Belkamp never even questioned his thought of shooting the three. Shot a nice arching shot. He struggled tonight from the floor, quite honestly, Lee Belkamp, but just hit a big three, making the score 47 to 36. Gotta believe that I think that's Brett, Coach Brett Flipsy's last timeout. He might have one more timeout. But they're leaving it all on the floor right now. As 
The winner continues on their road to state, and the loser heads home, ending this 2007-2008 boys basketball season. As I said before, the Eagles are leaving it all on the floor. They're not going down without a fight here. Brock gets inbound to Tilma. Tilma trying to get the foul, doesn't get it over to Kelm. Brock gets break down court. Kelm trying to get it over to Tilma and is quickly followed by Lee Velkamp with 44.6 seconds, putting Kyle Kelm at the line. Kelm has not hit all his free throws here today. And Coach Brett Flipsy quickly looking to insert quickly looking to insert some shooters and ball handlers into his lineup. Kel makes the first, taking the score 48 to 36. Jensma comes into the lineup and Dubois comes into the lineup for the Eagles. Kelm lining up the second. Shoots it, rattles around and goes in making the score 49 to 36. Down to Meerdink. meerdink has got to watch out. He falls on the floor and turns the ball over. And it is, it is a turnover. It looks like Randolph got the ball and quickly called timeout to gain control of the ball. I think what you just saw there was a sophomore mistake by Joe Meerdink. But he's already through a whole varsity season. He needs to be aware of where he's out on the court and who's around him. And he just really turned the ball over and uh, gave the ball back to the Randolph Rockets. With 39 seconds left here in the game, the Randolph Rockets lead the Christian High Eagles by the score of 49 to 36. So you come out of the timeout, it looks like the Rockets come out in their starting five. Coach Brett Flipsy has made some substitutions. I forgot to mention the other, the other senior player is Marshall Vervelde, number 15, and number 25 is Marcus Lemieux. Coach Flipsy, in a great honoring move of his seniors, put all five seniors out on the floor at the end of this game. And the Rockets turn the ball over. Simmons to inbound. Looks to Kopatic. Kopatic just running down the lane. Kicks over to Westerbake. Westerbake puts a shot up. Rattles around the rim. Simmons with a rebound. Kicks to Kopatic. Kopatic contested on the three. Down to Marcus Lemmyhew. Lemmyhew implored to shoot. Westerbake should have shot right away, and he ended up traveling. There's 19.8 seconds left in the game, and uh, Randolph Rockets going to inbound the ball and win this game. Gets into Brian Johnson, Johnson over to one of the Rooter boys, over to his brother, kicks it over to Toma. They hold on to the ball up at half court, and it looks like everybody's looking just to run this clock out. Congratulations to the Randolph Rockets in a very well played game. The final score of this game is 49 to 36. But at the same time, we have to congratulate Coach Brett Flipsy and the Christian High Eagles for a great season. The Eagles end their season with a record of 19 and five and head home to watch the rest of this tournament, either from their computer or from their TV sets when it gets to state. Again, we thank you for joining us tonight. It's been great for me, your announcer Ralph Decker, to announce these Christian High games for you for Channel 8, the local cable station. 
And we say goodbye tonight from Beaver Dam High School, where again the scorer is the Randolph Rockets 49, the Christian High Eagles 36. Have a good evening, everyone. Good night.